Guitar and Excel, Interval and Modes, Complement and Parallel Worksheet Part Number 9. Get ready, because it's time for our guitar skills to Excel. Here we are in Excel. If you don't have access to this workbook, that's okay, because we basically built this from a blank worksheet, but started in prior presentations. So if you want to build this from a blank worksheet, you could begin back there. However, if you do have access to this workbook, there's a bunch of tabs down below, including the first two representing the final work, the end product, the numbered tabs tying into the related video presentations. As we work through the practice problem, the blue tab is where we're going to continue on at the point we started off in prior presentations so we're building our worksheet here that's going to give us the major scale in a circular format and then also give us the related modes so we have seven notes that we're looking at because we're looking at a major scale and the related modes to it instead of the 12 notes and then if we follow the green around that will then give us the position in the scale a one for example and whether or not we're going to be creating a major or a minor chord construction represented by the roman numeral being capital for a major chord construction lowercase for the minor and it will give us the distance both in terms of just absolute distance meaning we're on that actual C, so it's zero distance away because that's the step we're in, and the P1, which is another way of basically saying that the one tying into the fact that it's the one note in the chord that we're on. And then if I go to the second one, we're on the two. If we built this one, it would be a D, but we're looking at it in relation to the C scale, therefore it would be the second note in the C scale. The distance would be two notes away, that's what this two represents. And then it's a major second. This two represents the fact that it's the second note in the major scale. And then we go to the three, which would be the E and so on. If we started on the D like we did last time, that would be the red circle. The D now would be number one. If we constructed the chord from it, it would still be a minor chord. But if I look at the interval, now that would be point zero, the step that we are on and it would be position number one or a perfect first and then if we go then to the two that would be the e then and it would be the second note in the scale now that we're in the dorian scale and it would be a major second two notes away and then if we go to the three it would be the f would now be the three and so on and so forth so we left off then on the Phrygian. So now we're just going to continue this process around the circle. So the next one is going to be the three. So I can always just go to the, to the next one over and say this is going to be equal to the one. This is the E. The E is now the one. It's still going to be a minor chord construction. So it's going to be a minor chord. So it's a lowercase number one. And then I need to pull the interval from the worksheets on the right. By the way, uh, the example tab that we had before wasn't quite right on some of the intervals that we did before you know on the intro tab on these two tabs so we're adjusting that a little bit as we construct it here if that was uh bothering anyone i hope that didn't bother anyone too much but here we go so we're going to go to the phrygian worksheet on the right and i'm looking for that e so we're looking for the phrygian on the right and do, 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 the dorian and then the phrygian and so here's the E, it would be the one. So notice the one on this worksheet is represented on top. The related position is down here and it would be position one. Over here, I'm not reorientating the worksheet to scoot this one up to the top. We're just recognizing the starting point from here and adjusting the numbering system, right? Let's also delete some cells because I think I can get this right next to it. It'll make it a little bit easier if I delete from a uh, bq to to uh, cd right click and delete and then let's make this a bit thinner and so that makes it easier i would think and then i'm going to delete i'm not going to delete the whole column over here uh instead I, i'm sorry the rows now i'm going to delete i can't delete the whole rows because i would delete stuff to the left so i kind of move this up one way you can do that is i can select just the cells up top down to here actually let's leave that header cell let's do it down to here and right click and hide or delete delete that and then i'm going to shift them up so i'm going to shift them up so boom we move them up to the top okay so there we have it and it might even be easier to move these 
closer to the to the modes that we're in as we as we go as we work on the modes uh, I could test that out so if I made this a little smaller and like I could hide I don't really need this thirds so let's actually hide that for now going from here to here and right click and we can hide that and then I can see this basically right next to the mode that I'm on and I'm currently on the Phrygian so let's just take this whole thing for now and just move it down so it's next to the mode that I'm in and that'll make it easier maybe towel vase you were doing it the hard way before okay oh my goodness that's way easier am I right look at that okay so now we have it side by side side by side okay so now we can and then I'm gonna make these these long cells I'm gonna make them smaller which will just adjust the headers okay so I think that works so now we're over here so now this is gonna be so I'm here now the second note the F is gonna be the two which I could just pull from here and then I'm gonna make this one I'm gonna pull from my worksheet on the right now so I'm gonna say I'm in the, the Phrygian I'm looking for the F which is now the two which is orientated a little bit differently because it was the one up top now I'm on the second one over here I'm gonna pull that two and then I want to pull the related there's the there's the F here distance which is now going to be the minor second so it's uh, the minor second okay so then we're gonna pull that in and so then we're gonna say all right then if I go to this one the G I'm still in the orange area so I'm going to say this is now the three and the three is going to be that G. So I'm going to pull in the G up top is that three, which is now a major chord construction. And then we're going to say the G relative to the G down here. We have the minor third, minor third. OK, so I think that's correct. And then we're going to go up top. So now I'm still starting at the at uh, the orange, the E. And now I'm over here. So this is going to be then the four which is i'm just following that red so it was four over here now the four is over here because we started on this this one and then i'm going to say that that's related to the a so i'm going to say the a up top here's where the four is up top if i orientated it this way so the e was at the top instead of on the side and so there it is and then we're going to say that the related uh so there's the e so this was the the a here so here's the related a uh down there okay so there it is oh wait a sec no the interval is what i'm looking for there it is okay and then we're on the b and the b is now going to be the five and it needs to be that diminished five so i'm going to say okay so over here the b was right there so there's the diminished and then the interval there's where the b is here here's the interval it's the perfect fifth which is seven notes away so and you can always kind of tell where that when you hit that diminished that kind of gives you an idea that's one kind of easy way to say okay wait a sec comparing that to the major the diminished is the seventh one the last one the weird one the locrian one right and now i'm looking here i find that diminished one on uh, the five when I'm looking at the Phrygian so that could be a point that kind of sticks out to you when you go through these but in any case the next one is going to be uh, the six and we're going to say that this is going to be equal to I'm looking for the C over here so the C is right there so I'll take that as a six it's going to be a major chord construction so then this is going to be equal to if I find the C here then I'm going to say that's going to be this one which is the minor six note that the minor six is different than the major six over here because it's eight notes away as opposed to nine notes away so remember that that six after the M represents basically where it is in relation to the scale on the seven note scale and it's usually originally constructed thinking about the major scales right and the eight here is representing how many notes away it is in this case from uh the e when we look at all 12 notes in the musical alphabet okay so then we're going to go back on over here and say this is going to be the seven 
And then up top, we're going to say if I find the D, there's the 7. And then down here, I'm going to say there's the D, and the related one is a minor 7, which is going to be 10 notes away as opposed to a major 7, uh, which we can see is 11 notes away. Okay, let's do this. Try to do this a little bit faster. We're, we're taking too much time. You're pulling too much time, man. Breaking your own rules. All right, so this one's going to be the one we're going to start in lydian now so now the lydian is the one so we're looking at the blue stripe starting on the f so i'm going to pull this whole thing down too so i'm going to let's make this one a skinny skinny one here and i'm going to take this whole thing and pull it down to relate it to the lydian so i'll go okay and then let's pull this down so it's next to the Lydian right there. All right. And see as much space as I can get. Okay, right there. Okay. So now we're in the Lydian. All right. So do, 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 do. So now we're down here. And this is going to be equal to uh, the Lydian. So I'm looking for that F, which is now at the top because it's reorientated the circle. It's, it's the one now. And then the, let's make, by the way, let's make this one smaller so I don't have that wide thing right there. So it's going to squish up the headers, but that's okay. This is going to be equal to then I just did uh, the F and that's going to be the uh, perfect first. And then if I go one note away from the Lydian, this is going to be the two. And I'm going to say this is the two, which is the G. And that's going to be then this two, major chord construction. That two, uh, the G is down here. That's going to be a major second. And so if I go to the third, that's going to be an A. The A is going to be the third. And it's going to be then the third is an A. It's going to be a minor chord construction. And the related interval is a major third away which is actually four half steps or four notes away. And then we're gonna go to the fourth. This is four from this F, which is the B. The B is gonna be a, that's the one with the dot. So that's the diminished. So diminished, uh, diminished four. And that, and then is gonna be the B down here is relative to the diminished fifth, which is the odd one, right? which is only six notes away as opposed to seven on a normal fifth or a perfect fifth, right? And then we're gonna say this is gonna be then, so this is gonna be equal to the, fe the five or fifth, and I'm on a C, so the C on this side is gonna be the fifth. And then over here, the interval, if I look at that fifth on the C is down here, is gonna be the perfect fifth, which is seven notes away. Now I missed the blue stripe over here, so I'm gonna pull these to the right and add the blue stripe. If there's not a blue stripe, there's gonna be chaos. So I'm gonna select these, hold control, select those. Blue, I want that color blue, borders, white, and center. All right, so this, this is gonna be then equal to the six. This will be the six. And then the six is now, we're on the D. So the D over here is gonna be that six. It's a minor chord construction. Here's that six, it's gonna be a minor six, which is nine, or major six, which is nine notes away. Then I'm gonna say the next one is gonna be the seven. And the seven, I'm on the E now. So the E over here, there's the seven, minor chord construction, the interval then. If I'm looking at uh, that E is gonna be that 11 or, or a major seven, 11 notes away. All right, so there's the, and then I'm back to the one. Okay, so now let's go to the, the next one, which is Mixolydian. It is now going to be the one. The one is now G in Mixolydian. So we're going to say then, let's move this whole thing down. Let's move the whole worksheet down. Don't get ahead of yourself. I'm just going to pull this down. You're putting the, heart, the cart before the horse. And the horse gets angry when you try to tell it to push the cart up the hill with its nose. It doesn't like that. All right. I don't think you would like that either. That's not the way horses do things. 
okay, you have to put the cart, the horse before the cart. So then we're going to say this is going to be equal to, if this is the one, it's a major one now, and the interval on that one is the perfect first, zero notes away. Then we're going to go to the two. So now we're on the purple. So we went from the G, which was the, which, which was the one, to the two, which is an A now. So the A is going to be equal to, here's the A, it's the two up top. And the interval is going to be equal to, there it is here. So the related is a major second, two notes away. And then we're going to say the three, three notes away in the purple. It's going to be a, a diminished type of chord, it looks like. So it's the three. So I'm looking at that B once again. There's the dot for the diminished. And we're going to say that here's the B uh, there. So the interval is a major third, four notes away. And so then we're going to go and say, all right, so the next one is going to be four, the fourth. And the fourth is going to be a major chord construction. I'm looking at a C now. So that's going to be the four major chord construction. The interval away on that four is a perfect fourth, which is five notes away. And then we're going to go, okay, the, the five then, the five is going to be a minor chord construction we're on the d so there's the d there's the five if i look at that d down here it's a perfect fifth or seven notes away and then we're on the six and the six i'm looking at the e so the e over here is the six it's a minor chord construction and that e then if i look at the relative down here is a major six nine notes away and then here we have the seven, the seven, and that's going to be equal to, this is the F, which is the seven. So over here we have the F, which is a major chord construction. And there's the F, the relation to the F is here. It's a major or a minor seven or 10 notes uh, away. That brings us back to the one. Now we'll do the minor mode, otherwise known as Aeolian. If you want to sound fancy, if you have fanciness happening and then we're going to say here's the a it's going to be the two minor chord construction and well hold on a second we're doing it from the wrong spot let's pull this down the cart is before the horse again you're once again are forcing the horse to push the apple cart up the hill with its nose stop doing that stop doing that it's not how horses or carts work. Put the cart before the horse. Put the cart before the horse for crying out loud. How many times? Okay. The cart has now been securely placed before the horse and the horse will now pull the cart. So we're gonna say this is gonna be the first and then this is gonna be the two. So here's the two and the two is is uh, the B. So we'll say there's the two, the related interval. I'm trying to do this a little faster here. We're running long on time. Major second, two notes away. We're gonna say the three, the three is gonna be here. And we're gonna say this is a major chord construction. We're on the C for the three. So that's gonna be that three right there. And the interval is going to be the uh, C is relative, minor third three notes away and then we are on the four the four and the four is going to be equal to we're on the d now so the four is right there there's a minor chord construction on the four there's the d it's going to be a perfect fourth five notes away now we're on the five the five is going to be the e so it's a minor chord construction and the E over here is right there. So there's the five. And then we're going to say that the five is going to be a perfect fifth, seven notes away. And then we're down here on the F, which is going to be the six. And the six is going to be a major chord construction. There's the F here. There's the F there. There's the six major chord construction. And there's the F here. Here it is down here. It's a minor six, eight notes away. And then we have the seven, which is going to be equal to, we're looking at the G, there's the G seven notes away. And we're going to say that this is going to be the minor seven 
uh, minor seven, ten notes away. It's not seven notes, it's the seven. Okay, one more time with the Lokian. Let's pull this down, pull this down. We're going to rehitch the horse here for the next job that has been for the next hill we have to climb. And we're going to put this here. And then here we have it. So Lokian is going to be now the one. One more time, the Loco one. Just stop now. That one's too crazy to go on. No, we're going to do it. We're going to face the crazy one. We're standing up to the crazy. Okay? That's what's happening here. Let's do this. So then we're going to say this is going to be the B. And then this one is going to be the perfect first. And then this one is going to be the two and this is going to be a major chord construction so this is a c so there's the two right there and this is going to be equal to there's the two that's going to be the minor uh second which is one note away let's center these looks like i didn't center all of these this one is going to be the three and it's going to be do, do. it's now on a d so there's the d over here minor chord construction and it's going to be there's the three here's the related three it's a minor third three notes away let's center these do. and then here's going to be the four it's going to be the four is an e there is the e there's the four and there's the e and here's the related it's a perfect fourth five notes away and then centering that and then down here we have this equal to the five this is going to be equal to we're looking for the f there's the f there's the major fifth and or it's a major chord construction and then we're going to say this is going to be equal to the distance of that f down here which is a diminished fifth six notes away instead of seven that's part of the craziness of lokian that's where some of the craziness comes from. That's what makes them crazy. We found the gene. We found like what causes the crazy. That's what causes the crazy, I think. Anyways. And then we're going to say this is going to be the 11 is going to be the f f uh, six and the distance here is going to be I'm on the G. That's going to be a minor six, eight notes away and then we'll center that and then this is going to be the seven and we'll say that that's going to be equal to we're on the a so the a is going to be the seven minor chord construction and the seven here is going to be a distance of a uh, minor seven or ten notes away let's go ahead and center that Okay, I think we have it. Hopefully I didn't mess anything up too badly. If I did, I apologize. But you at least see the the idea of how to construct this thing. And hopefully how... Now I'm going to cut this whole thing. What I did, instead of moving it up, I went right-click and cut it, which is the same thing as dragging it. And then I'm just going to paste it up top right here. Boom. And then I'll put a title on it. Some kind of title. So let's call it... Uh, a complement mode showing seven notes so i'll put that up here and so then i'm gonna i'm gonna highlight across this and make this a header right click format the cells i'm gonna align and i like to center across this selection boom i'll make it home tab font group will make it black and white i'll make this column a little bit thinner like that and then make this a little bit larger and then let's actually do i need let's should i put like more borders around the whole thing it looks pretty good like that let's leave it like that so that looks pretty let's go ahead and unhide between here and here right click and unhide and so there we have it so there we have it hopefully it's not hopefully i didn't mess anything up too terribly if i did i'm sure someone will let me know and i appreciate that uh, if you do. Uh, uh, um, and so next time, we're going to continue on and, and then think about a different project, which will look at all seven notes so that we can get a better idea of what these intervals are. See, with this one, it's easy. To, you can see the intervals, but it still doesn't make a whole lot of sense because you're only looking at seven out of the 12 notes. So it's kind of hard. So if we put all 12 notes in a circular format and do the same color scheme thing, 
then that's actually even useful to a good exercise to do. So hopefully we'll do that next time if we have the time.